Dear students, please note down. These notes are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, in today's lecture, we will discuss ribosome. Another cell organelle. Ribosomes, protein factories, microsomes, George pallet particles or clothes microsomes. These are protein factories as these are involved in the synthesis of proteins. These are also named RNP particle, ribonucleoproteins because ribosomes are made up of. These are formed by RNA and proteins, ribonucleoproteins. These ribosomes were first isolated by Albert Claude in 1943 during centrifugation of tumor infected tissues. And he, Albert Claude, he coined the term microsome. So these are named Claude's microsomes. First of all, these were discovered by Robinson and Brown in 1953 in plant cells. While in case of animal cells, these were discovered by George Pallet. And the George Pallet, he was a student of Albert Claude. In 1955, he coined the term ribosomes. So, Pallet, George Pallet coined the term ribosomes. So, these are named Pallet particles. These ribosomes are involved in the synthesis of proteins. So, these are named protein factories. Ribosomes. And these cell organelles are found in both prokaryotic as well as eukaryotic cells. No doubt, in both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells. In case of prokaryotic cells, in case of bacteria, blue-green algae, cyanobacteria, PPLO, pleuro-pneumonia-like organelles. These are found in free state in cytoplasm. But in case of eukaryotic cells, here, this is the diagram of an eukaryotic cells. In this eukaryotic cell, the ribosomes, these are found in cytoplasm, cytoribosomes, as well as these ribosomes are found in some cell organelles, like mitochondria, these are mitoribosomes. In case of plastids, plastidoribosomes, in case of chloroplast, these are cell organellar ribosomes. It means in case of prokaryotic cells like bacteria, these are found in cytoplasm only in free state. While in case of eukaryotic cell, these are found in both cytoplasm as well as inside the matrix of cell organelles like mitochondria named mitoribosomes. When these are present in cytoplasm named cytoribosomes, when these are present in the matrix of plastids, plastidoribosomes. In case of eukaryotic cells, these ribosomes in cytoplasm occur in two forms, either in free form free form of ribosomes in cytoplasm or these are found in bound form of ribosomes. It means they associate on the outer surface of rough endoplasmic reticulum as well as on this outer coat of nuclear ectokaryotheca. On this outer surface of nuclear envelope as well as on the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So, in case of eukaryotes, ribosomes may be free in cytoplasm or may found in association with some cell organelles like ripe rough endoplasmic reticulum and outer coat of nucleus. Types of ribosomes. Ribosomes are of two types on the basis of their sedimentation coefficient, on the basis of sedimentation rate. Sedimentation coefficient, coefficient that is a measurement of the size of ribosome on the basis of sedimentation rate in centrifugal field. Here, S is Swedberg unit. These are of two types, 70S ribosomes and 80S ribosome. Now down, very important topic, 70S ribosomes are found in prokaryotic cells as well as 70S ribosomes are found in cell organelles in the matrix of mitochondria and in the matrix of plastids. While these ATS ribosomes, 
Note down, the ATS ribosomes are strictly found in the cytoplasm of eukaryotic cells. In all cells, prokaryotic and eukaryotic ribosomes are present. Except in some eukaryotic cells like sperm and in case of mature RBCs, ribosomes are absent. These are the difference between 70s and 80s ribosomes. Each ribosome having two subunits. One is smaller subunits and another is larger subunit. This 70s ribosome, its two subunits are 30s smaller subunit and 50s larger subunit. This smaller subunit 30s consists of 16s RNA. No doubt, 16 sRNA, all competitive exam students, and the protein molecules, about 21 protein molecules. And this larger subunit, which is 50S subunit, this 50S larger subunit consists of 23 sRNA and 5 sRNA. It means in case of 70 sRNA, 70S ribosome, Three types of RNA, 16S RNA in smaller subunit and 23S RNA and 5S RNA in larger subunit. Three types of RNAs. While the protein molecules in this smaller subunit, 21 proteins and in this larger, 34 proteins. It means total 55 protein molecules in this 70S ribosome. Its length is 200 to 290 angstrom. And its width is, that is 170 to 210 angstrom. While this ATS ribosome, in this ATS ribosome, its two subunits are 40S and 60S. This smaller subunit that is 40S and larger is 60S. This 40S subunit consists of 18S RNA, while in this 30S, the RNA is 16S. Here, 18S RNA in the smaller subunit 40S of ATS ribosome. The number of proteins here, 33 proteins, but in this, 21 protein molecules. In this larger unit, which is 60S, here, three types of RNAs. One is 28S RNA, 5.8S RNA, 5s RNA and number of protein molecules are 40. It means total 73 proteins. 33 proteins in this smaller 40s subunit and 40 protein molecules in this larger subunit. The ratio, the ratio of ribosomal RNA versus protein that is 60 to 40. And here in this ATS ribosome, the RNA protein ratio is 40 to 60. It means in this ATS ribosome, more proteins as compared to RNA. These subunits, smaller and larger subunits, these subunits unite, they associate at the time of protein synthesis. But in normal conditions, when there is no protein synthesis, these smaller and larger units remain free in state. That association or dissociation at the time of protein synthesis, these smaller subunits and larger subunits, they associate in presence of Mg positive 2 ions. Association requires high concentration of Mg positive 2 ions and dissociation requires low concentration of Mg positive 2 ions. That is 0.0001 molar. If this concentration is below this, then these subunits dissociate. But when this concentration of Mg positive 2 ion, that is above 0.0001 M, then they associate. Association occur, occurs at the time of protein synthesis. And in normal conditions, when there is no protein synthesis, these subunits remain free. Dear students, 
this is all about general introduction of ribosomes ribosomes as these are made up of rna and protein molecules so these are ribosomes ribonucleoprotein molecules particles george particle pallet particle george pallet he coined the term ribosomes he was a student of albert clot first of all clot isolated these ribosomes from tumor infected tissue during his centrifugation and he coined the term microsomes but these microsomes are made up of rna and proteins so these are ribosomes ribosomes or rnp particles ribonucleoprotein particles these are protein factories as these are involved in protein synthesis and these ribosomes are of two types 70s and 80s 70s ribosome in prokaryotes and 80s ribosome strictly in eukaryotes 70s ribosome also occur in these ribosomes also occur in some organelles like mitochondria plastids named mito or plastido ribosomes in cytoplasm they in case of eukaryotes they may occur in free state or in bound form this is all about ribosome general introduction in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss ultra structure of ribosomes